Okay, crafters, uh, so I picked up a bunch of different little wood odds and ends from Hobby Lobby. Um, among them, I've got uh, this cute little rectangle. It's about yay thick and about that big. Um, here's a mini for scale. So it's um, probably the same height as the mini um, and about uh, big enough for a mini to stand on. But I thought that'd be a cool um, table uh, for like a tavern. So my idea was to mount it onto this square, um, like so. Hot glue it onto the square. Um, that gives it a stable enough base to work and not take up a huge footprint on a, um, on a piece of terrain. So that was kind of one of the things that I wanted to do. Then I also had these like inch and a half um, bases, these wood wood discs, which are too big to base minis on, unless I want to base like a large mini, but I have like a hundred of these. But I thought it would make for a cool round table. And again, using this square, um, hot glue it on there. That's what it would look like upside down, which is also pretty cool. And it's stable enough to sit on a piece of terrain without falling over. So the only thing is, is that these are really smooth and sanded, so I wanted to kind of distress them and give them a little more of a texture. Um, maybe, you know, round out the edges a little bit more, make it look a little bit more naturalistic. Okay, so that's uh, about as distressed as I wanted to make it. I don't really know how this is going to work out. I mean, the wood did have some natural kind of look to it, but um, what I tried to do is dig in some grooves there to make those into boards and kind of like, you know, pound a, little, pound a few holes in there, scratch it up a little bit, and then I shaved off some of the edges, kind of roughed it up a little bit more. Um, this is thicker wood, so my shaving technique didn't work as well as it did on the popsicle sticks, but um, I'm going to hot glue this chunk that broke off back on from underneath when I hot glue it to the base. And, um, and then I'll base it and paint it and we'll see how it turns out. And if it doesn't suck, I'll make a whole bunch more. But um, if you have any suggestions about how I could do this, um, go ahead and throw some comments into the mix. And uh, I got plenty more of these that I can try out different techniques on. So and then I went ahead and distressed one of the round discs and uh, similarly you know I didn't want to overdo it but I kind of carved into it I shaved down some of the sides and then I kind of sanded it down to round out those edges a little more and distress that a little bit more so that'll get a um, square glued to the bottom as well to become a table and then um, I had these squares, the same large squares that I'm squaring as bases at the table I thought might make for really good crates. So what I did was I kind of carved in um, these inside squares um, just using my metal pokey tool and then uh, I kind of scratched up and distressed the the surfaces of the squares themselves. So I'm gonna base that and then dry brush it out and see what comes of that. But I also did um, smaller crate so this one you know same technique but it's a slightly smaller crate so just as a side-by-side -side kind of comparison um, that's kind of the size between the two of them so I just figured it might be cool to have different size crates for the terrain um, makes it a little more stackable and and you know gives me a little little uh, more options so I'm hoping that these will turn out okay and if they don't then um, you know I'll, I'll take any suggestions from people for how to make them look more legit so on to the base coating